Hi, I am Alexander Svet from alexandra.com. Today, Phase 1 released Capture One Pro 11.1, a solid update that nicely develops the 11th version ideas. In Capture One Pro 11.1, you will find a completely new feature, the Normalize tool, and a bunch of improvements to styles in Layers workflow, plus new camera support, a pack of free styles, enhanced LCC, and a well-rounded work with box. Let's discuss all the new features of Capture on 11.1 upgrade in details. First of all, the new Normalize tool. The idea of Normalize tool is pretty exciting. You can pick a color sample from an image, say skin tone, and apply it to the relevant area on a different image. Capture One would auto-adjust white balance and exposure correction on the target image to match the sample. Experienced Capture One users would immediately think, hmm, sounds familiar, wait a second, it's white balance skin tone. That's right, Normalize tool is the successor of white balance skin tone tab that's why in Capture on 11.1 developers simply remove this tab from white balance tool, improve it with exposure correction, and based the new tool on it. Also, in the new Normalize tool, you can set specific RGB or HSB numbers to modify a sample and to get the most accurate color. Now, let's see how it works in practice. I will start the test with these portrait images, which were taken under similar conditions. I'm picking color sample from the first image and applying it to other images. As you can see, Normalize tool works pretty well here. But what if we complicate the task by using quite different images? Not bad for a basic correction, but the problem is that Normalize tool operates only white balance and exposure settings. To make such images look similar, you simply need more tools. Ok, now let's bring some images with similar objects to the test. A pretty nice result of white balance and exposure correction. Obviously, Normalize tool is not the magic make beautiful button, but it can make your processing a bit faster and easier. Here are some useful tips for Normalize tool. You can quickly switch between Pick Apply Normalization tools by holding the Alt key. If the Pick tool is selected, Alt key will reverse it to Apply tool and vice versa. Also, Normalize tool supports presets, that's why it's a good idea to save your favorite color samples as presets. Don't forget that you can pick sample color from JPEG files as well as from RAW. That means you can use any image you like as a reference for Normalize tool. I see a huge potential in Normalize tool. I think the current version is just a proof of the concept. Now I'm looking forward to working with color editor in Normalize tool, that might be a game changer. By the way, if you plan to purchase or upgrade your Capture One license, you can save 10% with this code AMBC1LOCK. Another significant update of Capture One 11.1 is creating style layers from the Styles tool. Now you can apply a style to a layer straight in Styles tool. Right-click on a style opens the new menu. Apply to background. It simply applies a style to the main image as it was before. Apply to selected layer. A style will be applied to a selected layer. Note that this option doesn't create a mask on a layer and to see the style effect you would need to draw it. Apply to new layer. This option creates a new field layer and applies a style to it. By the way, the new layer will have the same name as the style, which is pretty convenient. With Capture on 11.1, it's much easier to apply styles to layers. I use styles in almost every editing and this is the exact feature I was waiting for since the Capture on 11 release. 
in my work I use 1000 Art Pro film styles. There are more than 200 styles which you can quickly scroll through and immediately see which would fit your image best. You can download 12 film styles for free right here. Simply try them with your images, it's a completely new experience for raw editing. In Caption Pro 11.1, developers have added two new shortcuts for layers – Layer On Off and Select Background Layer. That's a handy improvement, I have seen lots of requests for these shortcuts. Also, in the new update, you will find a free Spring Styles pack with 10 pretty nice styles. Another updated feature is LCC – Lens Cast Calibration, a unique tool of Capture One. It requires a special LCC plate to make a sample picture. Using this sample, you can quickly remove sensor dust from your images, fix a color cast or make a uniform light in your picture. With Capture 11.1, you can save the lens profile as part of LCC preset. Capture now also suggests which LCC profile would fit your image better. Recently, I have published a list of features which were changed in Capture 11 since Capture 9. There is a bunch of fantastic tools, starting from rework styles and improved layers to new processing features and enhanced file management. Capture 11.1 gives you even more reasons to upgrade – better styles and layers workflow, completely new normalized tool, additional shortcuts and a pack of free styles from Phase 1. If you are new to Capture On, I have a free guide for you. Just go to alexandrod.com – a free guide to Capture One. Here you will find all the necessary information to start working in Capture One. For example, if you wish to learn more about color balance, just go to Table of Contents, click Color Balance and here you will find lots of useful information. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel and the next episode of my Caption live show is all about Caption 11.1. If you have any questions or if you wish to see Caption 11.1 features in action, join the live show.